Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here every week, Lord willing, to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect people of the 12 tribe of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Before we kick things off, I want to give all praises to the Father and the Son, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstones, and salutation to all you brothers out there that's teaching the truth and sincerity. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Yeah, man. The Lord said the, the laws in these, in these scripts should not depart. You should, you should constantly be meditating in them. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Yeah, not some, not just the old, the New Testament, not just the Old Testament, but all, everything that's in there. You're supposed to, you're supposed to inquire, you're supposed to follow, man. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Yeah, man. With, with these scripts, that's the only way you're gonna prosper. Look around, man, none but fucking idiots. They think they're prospering, they ain't prospering this shit. Because when America goes down, they're assed out, man. They ain't going to have shit. This, this little American dream that, that they, they live in and think they're prospering, they're really not prospering nothing. They're not living by the scripts. The scripts is your guideline to become something. With faith, that is. You have faith in the scripts, in the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Lord willing, He'll save you out of this shit, man. Right. And then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Yeah, man. That's why us brothers up here, we're not scared. We, we're not afraid of shit, man. We hear about all these things that's going on. We hear about Ebola. We hear about ISIS. We hear about all these natural disasters that's going on. Brothers up here aren't afraid. We're not bugging out like you people, you like you Americans you bugging out about Ebola, man. Why? Because we know the Lord, the, the Lord, the Ha'obah Hashem Yahusha is with us no matter where we're at, man. That's right. We could be in a room infested with niggas with Ebola, man. Brothers not scared because we yeah. have faith in the Lord, man. We know none of that shit could touch us. Matter of fact, I had this bitch ask me the other day, man. Am, am I afraid? Am I afraid of Ebola? I'm like, nah. She's like, you got the cure? I'm like, yeah, in my head, I'm like, the most high. Bitch really asked me, am I gonna save her? Straight up, I told that bitch, no, man. I ain't worried, but she was bugged the fuck out, man. She just started coughing and was like, <coughs> I think I got Ebola. Nah, she was dead ass, huh? she, she was dead ass, like, I think I got Ebola. Like, the bitch was scared, man. But she, she, she won um, them college bitches, man. And she, she did research on that Ebola shit. It's Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Yeah, man. Seeking day in and day out, like like it said in Jeremiah, man, we're meditating in the scripts, man. Seeking day in and day out. And when we're looking around, everything is, is coming to pass, man. Slowly but surely. Not one prophecy has failed, man. Everything is coming to pass, man. We're in the book of Revelations. These crackers talking about the, the RFID chip, man. We hear about wars and rumors of wars. We hear about pestilence. We hear about the famine, the major drought that's going on in California, man. The Lord spoke of that all throughout the Bible. And it's coming to pass. There's not one thing that the Bible spoke of that's not 100% accurate. In the end they shall speak and not lie. Right. Not one thing, man. 
But you niggas, y'all predict, y'all y'all got so much prediction, but nine times out of ten, all of them shits fail. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Verse 17. So we supposed to seek out of this book, man. Because it's the only thing that's gonna save us. It's the only thing that's gonna tell us what's what's gonna happen beforehand, man. Right. And a lot of you niggas don't a lot of you niggas are fucking illiterate, man. Y'all can't even read. You're supposed to know how to read, man. Without reading these this this script or having somebody teach you, you're not gonna know what the fuck is going on, man. You can watch CNN all, all day long, man. You can watch Alex Jones all day long, man. You're not gonna know what the fuck is going on. Cause they're just humans, man. They're the most high running the show. Right. You know what's going on. You niggas can laugh, smile, do whatever, man. Y'all just gonna fucking die. Right. You gonna fucking die, man. Right. This is the book of Amos. Chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, man, y'all can laugh, y'all can walk by, scoff, do whatever y'all want to do, man. Oh, y'all can, can label us idiots, dumbasses, whatever y'all want, man. Because pretty soon... Y'all gonna be looking for these same idiots. And we're not gonna be here, man. We're not gonna be here trying to teach you assholes what's going on. Trying to tell you dumbass niggas the Lord doesn't look nothing like this. Trying to tell you dumbass niggas the white man doesn't love you. Right. Trying to tell you dumbass niggas you're not like everybody else. You so-called niggas Latinos and Native Americans are supposed to be the kings of this earth, man. That's right. These Edomites, so-called white people, aren't shit. They're, they're worse than shit, man. My shit has, has fucking vitamins and minerals and shit in there, man. These white people, they don't amount to nothing, man. That's they're just right. pure fucking evil. But yet we tell all throughout the fucking states, overseas, everywhere, we telling y'all niggas. But y'all don't want to hear us. But surely that day is going to come when there's going to be a famine of this word. Y'all going to be, oh damn man. I was looking, where's the dude with the big beard? Where's he at? Searching all through, all through Bayside, man. You're not going to find us. And we damn sure ain't gonna be trying to help y'all in that time. Good. Niggas come, smile, laugh like... Like they even got a hint of what's going on, man. You niggas don't know what's going on, but y'all so happy. Happy-go-lucky. Niggas wanna laugh like, like we're crazy. Like we're the crazies. I was reading the article the other day, man. They say so-called conspiracy theorists are the most sane people on earth. And we're not conspiracy theorists, man. We're men of the Lord, man. That's right. That's right. We know what's going on. We see, we see the two-thirds in the flesh. We see the devil, so-called white man in the flesh day to day and how he plays his role. We see all that. But you niggas that's, that, that have no clue of these scripts, y'all don't know nothing, man. Right. Totally oblivious to everything. But y'all want to laugh and scoff. That's why the Lord going to kill y'all niggas, man. That's right. Right. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, 
they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Yeah, man, you niggas going to be running all over Miami, all over Chicago, all over, all over Nebraska, everywhere. Trinidad, Jamaica, anywhere Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans roam, y'all going to be running. You niggas are going to be roaming. And all, all hell, man, just scared out your, out your pants, man. Like chi like chickens with their heads cut off, man. That's how y'all just gonna be running around, man. Looking like, where are these niggas? Where are these niggas, man? But brothers ain't gonna be nowhere in sight, man. Brothers gonna be at home, kicked back, laughing. If, if the Lord allows that, man. If the Lord wants to go to concentration camps and get tortured, so be it, man. But Lord willing, brothers don't have to go through that. On the other hand, you you niggas gonna be bugged out, man. Bug the fuck out. We young brothers, we got so much we could be doing right now. This is a sad. This is a nice, nice, cool Saturday in Miami, man. We could be coons just like you niggas, but we choose not to. We choose to try to edify you guys, man, because the spirit of the Lord. And you niggas just reject it, man. Just a pure slap in the face, man. If y'all niggas was in so much bitches, y'all would literally try to slap us in the face, man. Try to kick our asses, man. But y'all niggas bitches. Y'all gonna turn to even bigger bitches when martial law kick off. Right. Y'all gonna be wondering, like, what's going on? What's going on? I heard, I heard these dudes talking about this martial law thing. What's going on? I, I gotta look for them. Yeah, brothers ain't gonna be out here, man. It's the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven yeah man that's like we're telling you guys now through the scripts man there's gonna be all type of shits going on earthquakes famines pestilence we've been we've been telling you niggas that for as long as we've been out here man for as long as we've been out here we've been telling you idiots what's gonna happen before it happens but y'all just walk by like 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 what we're talking ha has holds no value man We've been telling y'all about this Ebola for how long? We've been telling y'all martial law is going to go down for how long? We've been telling y'all y'all supermarkets are going to run out of food and there's going to be a total drought for how long? But that shit's going to come very soon, man. That's right. That's right. It's in your backyard. And when it does happen, then y'all then going to try to inquire. Oh, just we seen that. <laughs> trip off the hell. Yeah. Yeah, she man. You like you made a trip. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't making a trip. The spirit of the Lord made a trip. Come uh, on. Hey, you should have bust the ass because all them bitches coming from that Oprah shit, man. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Should have fucked the fell off this guy. I mean, I, um, I had to work for Oprah. Love that bitch, man. It's another reason these bitches gotta die, man. That's right. This whole shit, this whole shit is shut down, man, because of a dumb bitch, Oprah, man. Really? Well, what is that bitch even talking about? Oh, I know what she's talking about. The bitch, the bitch. Bitch don't believe in this, so she talking about the opposite of this, man. Oh, come on, Somebody, you are your own God. Come on, straight, straight pure demon, man. Yeah, how old is Oprah? Don't have one kid, man. Well, she's not doing nothing that she's supposed to be doing, man. Except being a fucking demon. Right. But it ain't Look, look, pan the camera on all these idiots. All these idiots, idiots and faggots, man. Want to follow Oprah? America Oprah. will be destroyed by nuclear fire. That's right. So-called white people going into slavery. That's right. Fuck Oprah. 
That's right. right.